finally we have cherry show as 3.9 for redmi 7 and redmi y3 as well now let's get it started first of all let me show you from the settings and here is the board section and of course a very latest android 12 l that means android 12.1 uh, available and of course maintainer thanks to avinov for making this one and used since part plus kernel from Blay us and then we have the system and i'm using here the vanilla build and of course you guys will get the gfs build too so i recommend you guys to use the vanilla build so that you guys can easily install any g apps according to your choice and i'm using here very light nick gaps so that you guys will get better performance and i'll drop the link of the gfs in description and i recommend to use the vanilla build of the room don't use gfs build of any room so that's it and here is the system and of course as usual we have great customization on cherish OS as well as and you guys can change the peel length short and long here you guys can see i'm using here right now and amount of screen height used as touchable region for back gesture full bottom you guys can seal it as well and three finger screenshot is working 100 mode everything is just perfectly working no issues and of course we have uh, device settings in system which is MI sound enhancer if you want a great sound quality then of course use MI sound enhancer and ambient display display color calibration and display overlay FPS overlay is working fine no issues with that and let me show here is that and clear speaker and we have the thermal profiles uh, which we had on pixel extended and other other rooms like the uh, project place you guys will get that feature then we have accounts googles and the setting user interface a bit change you guys can see here and of course we have some customization on settings uh, you guys can change that ui of setting ui i will show you later part of this video so and then we have the location and privacy or as usual the other things and then we have the security and lock screen as usual we have all the customization here face on the fingerprint and app lock as well everything is working fine without any problem I checked and here is the utilities they changed the name here utilities actually this is called accessibility and accessibility to rename to utilities on that room so that's it an audio adjustment you can combine audio with mono audio and accessibility shortcuts then we have the sound and vibration as well always all the customization on all the features are available here and touch vibration power app volume control this is a great thing allow set different volume levels for each application that means you guys can set different volume level for different application this is great feature then we have the storage and then we have a battery system here adaptive preferences just enable adaptive battery and charging and battery backup I just, still i got very bad sorry it's really cool not bad just a joke and then we have the display adaptive brightness and light display reading mode color calibration everything is just working fine no problem and other things like uh, font size, display size, small width, and wallpaper zoom effect. If you don't want wallpaper zoom effect, just turn off that effect. Night light and colors, saturated, boosted, adaptive, and red, green, and blue strength. Just change according to your choice if you want to. Display cutout, which is useless for us. And full screen apps. Uh, suppose you are facing full screen app problem some apps are showing notch then of course use full screen apps ambient display everything working and then finally we have the cherish setting here is the cherish uh, fine first of all we have the status bar as usual traffic indicators and everything is just working fine and you guys can customize according to your choice then auto high threshold display mode and refresh uh, interval traffic measurement units everything is here you guys can customize and clock style left hidden right center wherever you want you guys can set the position and clock settings as usual and other uh, wi-fi icons and select voltage icons so many icons are available like as before 
and roaming indicator and other things color status bar icons and battery icons combined signal icons everything is fine here and QS transparency like this background blur effect which is really cool and no lag in uh, control center which is very smooth and fine no problem with that and brightness slider where to show and the brightness slider position and auto brightness icon and everything just awesome and here is the theme settings layout this is the theme i'm using here cherish clean cherish and oxygen os2 if you want to then just uh, restart the setting now let me show you setting got changed totally total ui got changed here so select aosp now let me show you now the user interface like aosp that's it this is the way you guys can change the themes and settings based layout and other things and use black theme whatever you need and clear button you want or not clear all notification button if you want then of course enable that one and you guys can customize your forms i'm using here mi sans that means which is from mui where is that and this is mi sans which is which is just awesome which we got in mui and icon packs are available and icon shapes everything is just awesome signal icons everything you guys can change and a huge huge collection of icons you guys can see here just select one and use no problem just select and it will be changed so on the top you guys can see then of course we have the buttons and other animations uh, flip like this so this is the flip animation and tiles in uh, you guys can anticipate over short bounds accelerate linear whatever and the screen of animation crd and default here your power menu what you need you guys can add then you have the notification and miscellaneous the important thing is here charging animation and then just scroll down and you guys will get the game space and we had great thing here but just when you just add any game and go to settings you guys can select the prefer mode if you want to select the performance mode you guys can do select the performance mode and if you select performance mode of course battery will uh, drain faster so that's it you guys can get that option which is cool and unlock high fps in games and unlock higher quality streams and unlock google photos unlimited storage so which makes the room perfect which is really great then let me show you the smoothness about that room no complaint no issues with the smoothness of that room i'm just awesome. I'm really impressed about that no no complaint not a bit so this is cool and by default we have the google camera go as usual if you want to use any uh, new google camera or other google camera you are currently using you guys can use any google camera no problem with that and here is the smoothness uh, i just want to say the battery smooth experience you guys will get no issues with that and other things are just pretty much fine and if you want the grid option recent menu grid option which is available no problem and the taskbar of course available go to settings because by default we have that a launcher and you guys can the great thing is here the icon packs you guys can change the full icon packs just click on plus button and go to play store and download any uh, font sorry any icons you like then install and just apply which is a great feature then we have here the notification dots and other things icon size and max lines whatever you need and home screen as usual at a glance beta double tap to sleep and status bar if you don't want to see status but just turn off that and then we have the home screen uh, app drawer then we have the miscellaneous and use taskbar if you want to use taskbar then of course enable that one and use and hidden and protected application if you want to hide any application then use that feature mm, everything i showed you is just awesome no issues and now let me show you the geekbench score which here is the geekbench score so let me show you the single core is really really great and multi core is as well no problem with that now, now let me show you the cp throttling here is the cp throttling and which is just really awesome which is 90 percent and this is a gaming room you guys can see and now let me show you the battery 
so when the time was let me show you the time here on the top you guys can see it was 11 34 pm at night and the battery was 78 percent and the wi-fi was turned on and when i check in the morning 11 11 17 am and data was still turned on and you guys can see battery is still 78 percent so zero percent battery drain so how is that of course it's great and my battery life actually uh, battery was older four years older so this is really great and i talked about the smoothness previously now let me show you the safety net i already rooted my device and safety net passes by default if you root then also you can pass safety net if you don't root also by default safety net passed so no problem with using any kind of banking applications or any official applications this is great and other features i already showed you guys now let me open the game and let me show you the uh, unlimited google photos stories and the things actually which is spoofing the device uh, 90 fps in gaming unlock high fps is working or not let me show you that before i go there just let me turn on the fps now let me open the game so i open the game here and let me show you the settings and here is the graphic settings smooth and 90 fps you guys can select and of course if you do the changes on graphics settings like balance or other things and you will lose the higher fps just smooth and 90 fps will work here so that's it and you guys can play games with a bit higher fps and here is the game settings you guys can select game settings and which is really great and of course fps is showing here 60 fps and other things will be uh, shown when you play games and if you want to record a screen here then also you guys can do that and if you want to take a screenshot also you can do that so this is the menu for game turbo if you guys want to play a perfect gaming experience then of course you guys can uh, use that rom perfectly for gaming and multitasking and every single task you guys can easily use that rom this is a really great thing so that's it and you will get not 90 fps you will get up to 60 fps according to the device performance because this is a low-end device so that's why and i hope you guys understand everything and i just i had to show you that's why i showed you guys so this is the experience with that cherry show 3.9 and this is a really great room and if you are looking for a room and you, you are willing to change a custom room then you guys can go with that one and nowadays we have so many custom rooms which is really great which is really great you guys can easily use on your daily life and if you want to use then of course you guys can do no problem and i can recommend you no issues so thank you for watching